Let us verify Rolle's theorem for the function fx equal to log of x square plus ab divided by a plus b times x in the interval a comma b where a is greater than b of course a has to be less than b. So we got the function fx equal to log of x square plus ab divided by a plus b x in the interval a comma b where a is greater than 0. Obviously, when we want to verify Rolle's theorem, we need to show a number of criterion. First one being f is continuous. Observe that x square plus ab is a polynomial function. a plus b times x is also a polynomial function. And polynomial are continuous. So, quotient of continuous function is also continuous if denominator is not equal to 0. Since a is greater than 0 and x lie in the interval a comma b, it follows that a plus b times x is greater than 0. Further, uh, composite of continuous function is also continuous. So, log of x square plus a b divided by a plus b x, this function f x must be continuous. First point f is continuous. On the closed interval a comma b for a greater than 0. Similarly, we can say that f is differentiable because polynomial functions are differentiable and quotient of polynomial is again differentiable. Uh, provided denominator is not equal to 0 and composite of polynomial with sorry composite of two differential function is again differentiable and log is differentiable. So, f is differentiable f is differentiable. So, we got f to be continuous on the closed interval and f is differentiable on the open interval again a is greater than 0. Last point, what is the value of the function at the end point? If we want to apply Rolle's theorem, then the value of the function at the end point must be same. So, how much is f of a equal to? f of a equal to log of a square plus a b divided by a plus b times a. a times a is a square, a times b is a b. So, numerator and denominator are same. So, this is equal to log of 1, which is equal to 0. How about f of b? Again, f of b equal to log of, we need to replace x by b. So, b square plus a b divided by a plus b times b b square plus a b divided by a plus b times b. Observe that uh, a times b is a b, b times b is b square. So, again b square plus a b that will get cancelled. So, we will be left out with log of 1 which is equal to 0. Therefore, we find that f of a equal to f of b. So, all the three criterion that is required for Rolle's theorem are satisfied. f is continuous in the closed interval, f is differentiable in the open interval, value of the function at the end point are same. At the end point of the interval a comma b, so f a and f b are the same, f a equal to f b. Therefore, Rolle's theorem is applicable. Rolle's is applicable by Rolle's theorem by there exist a constant c such that f dash c equal to 0. Now we got fx equal to log of x square plus a b divided by a plus b times x. That can be written as log of x square plus a b minus log of a plus b 
times x. Can we find f dash x? Of course, yes. f dash x equal to, you differentiate log, we get 1 by x square plus a b times 2x. You differentiate log, you'll get 1 by a plus b times x. Apply chain rule, you'll be left out with a plus b. Oh, we can cancel a plus b out. So this expression is simply equal to denominator as it is x square plus a b times x numerator 2 x square minus x square minus a b which is equal to x square minus a b divided by x square plus a b times x. Now, Rose theorem guarantees us existence of a constant c such that f dash c equal to 0. We got f dash x equal to x square minus a b divided by x square plus a b times x. So, f dash of c equal to c square minus a b divided by c square plus a b times c. Yes. We want f dash c equal to 0, the, so f dash c equal to 0 if c square minus a b equal to 0, c square minus a b equal to 0, that is possible when c square equal to a b or when c equal to plus minus root a b, c equal to plus minus root a b. a and b are positive, so we will not get a complex number, it will be real. Now, we need to show that c, we need to find one c, one real number c, that lie between a and b. In other words, that lie in the open interval a comma b. We want to find a constant c, so that f dash c equal to 0, comma c lie in the open interval a comma b. So, we have determined a constant c, but uh, which one is it that it lie on the open interval a comma b. We claim that c equal to root a b is our desired quantity. Uh, Let us show that it lie between a and b. Uh, Let us do some rough work. See that a b is less than, once again, is a is less than b. If we multiply both side by b, we will get a b is less than b square. So, root a b is less than b. Again, we got a is less than b. If we multiply by a on both side, we will get a square is less than a b. So, a is less than root a b. So, root a b is always less than b and root a b is always greater than a. Therefore, we can say that root a b always lie between a and b whenever a is less than b and a and b are both positive quantities. Of course, a is less than b and we are given a and b to be positive quantity. So, we have determined the constant c such that therefore, f dash of root a b equal to 0 comma root a b is greater than a less than b in other words, root a b belong to the interval a comma b. We have found a constant uh, c that is in fact exactly equal to root a b so that f dash c equal to 0 and c belong to the interval a comma b. So, we have verified Rolle's theorem.